The Territory Government and doctors have welcomed federal budget funding for two new children's wards at the Royal Darwin Hospital. But it seems Commonwealth commitments for extra health and ambulance services in Darwin to deal with the demands of immigration detention centres have been overlooked. That's good. The Northern Territory Government's delighted with $12 million nice. from the Commonwealth yeah. for two new paediatric wards. Doctors are pleased, but say the old hospital can only be patched up for so long. It would be to the advantage of the of Territorians in the end to have a modern purpose-built hospital. There's no way you can demolish this one and build another one, but we can still build on the existing facilities. The Commonwealth is promising to maintain its territory spending on tackling Indigenous disadvantage, but isn't yet committing money for ambulances the Territory Government is asking for to service immigration detention centres. I'm not aware that there will be specific funding for a specific new ambulance and crew in Darwin. The opposition says the Territory Government has a cheek asking for more Commonwealth cash because it hasn't spent all the money it's already been allocated, particularly for cheap housing. The Territory got federal incentives to build 1,700 affordable houses on sites like this one. Only 14 of those have been brought through to actual accommodation fully tenanted. The housing industry is also blaming the Territory Government for a continued affordability crisis. The Territories had the highest jump in property prices last quarter and a 30% drop in building approvals. We're building about 650 homes per year, whereas our figures show that the demand per annum in Darwin is, is approximately 2,800. The problem we face now is not land release, it's actually the, res the reluctance of the banks to release funds for people to actually build houses. The housing industry says both are to blame. The banks for encouraging people to borrow beyond their means and the government for delaying land release. Jane Barton, ABC News.